If you're here because you've always been using the Facebook Pixel Helper and you're finding that your events are not firing properly anymore or your events are not being attributed to your Facebook ads, well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm breaking down how to set up a server-side API connection for your Facebook Pixel. So at the time of recording this video, we have all experienced the absolute atrocity that has occurred within the Facebook ads ecosystem. And with that, not being able to target our audiences as effectively as let's say 16 to 18 months ago. And so what are we supposed to do? As a Facebook marketing agency, our ads are attributed directly to purchases or leads. But if we cannot track those purchases or leads, our clients may start to ask questions. And luckily enough, we're able to somewhat address this tracking issue in the audiences. But no matter what, how you cut it, our ads performance have dropped. And I can say that confidently because I know across the industry, everybody's ads have dropped and declined. And one of the things that I highly recommend is to switch from the Facebook ads pixel helper in setting up and tracking your events to a conversion API. And that's what we're going to get into today. So let's hop right in. So we're in my stores event manager. What we're going to go is go directly into using the conversions API and getting here. We simply go into our events manager, pixel conversions API add events using the conversion API, use a partner integration. Now, now if you have a WordPress site or a Shopify site, it's easy. Use a partner and click Shopify, which I have already connected. So there's no need to walk you through that process, but essentially it will redirect you to your Shopify or your WordPress or your Magento or your Zapier, or your WooCommerce store to connect it that way. So to show you how to get started on this, once you've connected it, we're going to go to manage our conversions API. And we're gonna start sending events from the server. We're gonna go ahead, once you arrive on this page, and click get started. From there, we're gonna generate an access token, and then insert all the code and go right into your store, launching the test events. We have now confirmed that we have processed a full page view now that we've gone here. So we're gonna to go to Beard Products, we're gonna go down to our good old beard kit. And from here, we're gonna to add to cart. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go back into the Facebook Events Manager to establish if this worked. And as you can see, it worked. So the way we've set it up, it worked effectively. And luckily enough, Shopify, WordPress, all these companies have established that this Facebook thing is a problem. Facebook's losing tons of money. Therefore, all the other companies are losing money because they're not getting the processing fees, the traffic, all of the things that come with the revenue that we are all generating from our stores. So they've been working on this server side connection, which is going to connect their servers to the Facebook servers to establish, hey, this event just triggered. Oh, okay, Facebook, this was purchased on Facebook. Instead of the browser tracking, which historically worked pretty well, but now that people have opted out of their browsers being tracked, we needed a different way to track these events. If you guys are finding this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and let's get back into it. Once you're back on this screen, you're going to be able to see the events that have been received. So go through, do a test product purchase, do a checkout initiated, do an add to cart, do a view content, do an email subscribe, do all of the events that you want. Now mind you, you're only able to track eight events using the aggregate event measurement tool, which we'll get into next. But keep in mind that you can't track everything anymore. You don't necessarily need to either. You wanna make sure you're understanding how the users are going through your website and that the Facebook pixel is tracking them via the conversions API. So now that we've established that the conversions API works, what we wanna do is go into the aggregate event measurement tool which is right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click manage events. As I just mentioned, there's only eight that you really wanna be tracking. So once you get into the aggregate event tool, you're going to see all of your pixel data as well as the event names that you're utilizing. So for me, my most important event is a purchase. Next is initiate purchase, add payment information add to cart and view content, right? Because I want to make sure that the view content is triggered once somebody actually lands on my page. The rest of it is the sales journey to get to the purchase. 
So I've set these up in chronological order of which ones are most important and which ones are not, or which ones are least important. Now, as you start selling more, you can value optimize your events once you've acquired 30 purchases in 30 days. So that's what we need to do right now in order to try to maximize our Facebook ads effectiveness. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. What are you guys finding to be the most effective way of tracking your Facebook ads? If you have any pointers, tips, I'd love to hear from them. Leave a comment, I'll get right back to you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and make sure to follow Blue Water Marketing at bluewatermarketing.com forward slash blog, where we have countless articles about how to do basically everything that we do on a daily basis. We'll see you guys next week.